Hi guys! So I'm really excited to be doing this video. A lot of you have asked for me to do monthly faves and I am going to start from now. So I'm super excited because I love watching everybody else's videos. I always find them so fun. Um, I love watching what other people have bought because um, there's so many things out there. It is ridiculous. I get so confused because there's a million things that you could buy. So I thought I'm going to do the hard work for you guys and try a few things out that are on the market that I think that I really fell in love with and hopefully you guys will too. I invested in this. Now this is the Stila in the light eyeshadow palette and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty for the summer. Now it costs around £25 but if I show you inside you've got a variety of different colours. I mean they're all kind of shimmery and they've got a lot of glitter in there. Everything that you can use either as bases or you can use them kind of in the corners or the crease of your eye just to really kind of brighten up um, any kind of look and you also get um, a waterproof eyeliner as well in there. Bargain! I mean how amazing. So you you get 12 colours in here and I think that's actually really good because Stila on their own, the eyeshadows when you buy them singly on their own, are about, I think it's about £15 which is quite expensive, they're either like £12 or £15. Um, so to get all of these lot for about 25 I thought was a bargain. These two especially, Kitten, oh my gosh, and Bubbly. So these two here, that one's Kitten and that one's Bubbly. They are so, so pigmented, it is unbelievable, like they're the most prettiest colours ever. So bubbly is kind of like a champagne-y almost sort of colour, really lovely. And kitten is more of a pink, so you can use both of those either with browns or pinks. Really love those, so really kind of versatile for a lot of different looks. And I would say a brilliant price because these are going to last you a hell of a long time. Now I love my mascaras, as you guys all know, I love the Rocket Lash Mascara. But I have gone against that one and thought I would try a bit of a kind of higher end sort of mascara. And this one is actually by Benefit and it's called They're Real. And I have got to say, this is amazing. This is so good. Like I never thought I would go against Rocket Lash because I love it so much. Um, this one is a lot more expensive obviously than Rocket Lash. But I love it. If I put my hand up against it, you can kind of see there's bristles all the way around, which are nicely spaced. So that's going to give you um, a lot of different spacing within the lashes. It's not going to be too clumpy. But then also on the ends, it's got individual kind of spikes that come out. And that means that you can kind of get in the corners as well. I never thought I would go against my one and only love, my Rocket Lash Mascara. But I have, I'm afraid this is amazing. Um, I just seem to get on really well with it. Sometimes I find that the Rocket Lash can get a little bit clumpy just because I think it's so thick. Whereas with this one, it's a lot of a th it's a lot thinner, the brushes. And also because it's got the end ones, the end kind of spiky bits, don't worry, you're not gonna like poke yourself in the eye with it. It's not gonna be a disaster. Um, it's just designed just to, yeah, really get in the corners. And I found that to be amazing. Now, I guess you can also use this on the bottom lashes as well um, just on the, the very tip just to allow for really precise um, application on the bottom as well it's also really long wearing as well which I really liked it doesn't kind of if you I, I mean I don't really rub my eyes but because in the heat it's been quite warm some mascaras can almost run um, if you get hot and sweaty in the gym or something like that but this one actually stays in place it makes it look like you almost have false lashes it separates them perfectly and I love it the next thing that I've been loving this month is this and it was recommended to me by um, a couple of you guys when I did my video on my skiing haul and I mentioned that I use I got some Bioderma. Now this is kind of a dupe of it by L'Oreal and it is called the 3-in-1 Purifying Micella or Micella solution. I think it's probably meant to be French and I've just absolutely destroyed it with my British accent there but never mind. Um, and all it is is basically like a makeup remover, cleanser and toner all in one and this is about £3. I think it's like £3.60 or something. So I really love this one because it's super cheap. It is super super cheap and you, you can't struggle to find it whereas with Bioderma as we've discovered it is very hard to find unless you want to go over to France which we can't always do. So this 
has been perfect. It's a nice size bottle, it's like 200 ml, and if you're only using a couple of um, cotton wool pads on a night, sort of getting everything off, and it takes your eye makeup off as well, gets a really deep cleanse in there, it just feels like Bioderma. It's really nice and uh, almost watery, and it just leaves your, your skin feeling really soft, really clean. I am well and truly sold. So L'Oreal, congratulations, you are amazing. I like to wear colours on my nails and as much as I love French manicure, it's kind of a bit outdated now because people are putting more colours on their fingers. So that's what I thought I'd try and I went with this one. Now it's the Jelly High Shine, again, you know I love this, by Barry M. And it is actually called Papaya. Um, it's number 329 and it is super cute. It is kind of like an orangey, corally sort of colour and I can show you exactly what it's like because I've got it on my fingers. So there you go, that's, uh, it's not doing it any justice at all. It actually looks quite orange in that light. Um, excuse the light today because the sun is just being a nightmare. It keeps coming in, it keeps going out, so I look really ridiculous and I look fine. So apologies if, if it's all over the place because I'm not loving you right now, sir, and I'm going to come out there and give you a piece of my mind if you don't sort your life out. So, now I've had a word with him. Um, just trust me on this, it is really lovely. It is a really pretty sort of summery colour. You know that I love my Jelly High Shines because they're so reasonably priced. They go on almost as if you've got like gel over the top. So they look so good as, as a finish. Um, and I just love the colour. I think it's just so pretty for the summer. So Barry M, congratulations, I love you again. In the summer, your skin can get really horrible. You can have breakouts and it's a nightmare. We try and protect ourselves by putting cream on and we obviously use high protective factor sun cream on our faces but it doesn't always work and sometimes it just doesn't play ball. So I thought I'd invest in a couple of little things. I say invest, they're not really expensive, um, but I thought I'd just try a few other things as well as the, the dupe for the Bioderma, so the, the L'Oreal. I tried that one, that one seems to be clearing my skin up great, but as well as that, I thought I'd just try a couple of things. So the first thing is by Lush and it's called Grease Lightning. Now this one is absolutely amazing. It's a spot treatment and all you do, it's kind of like a gel, you just basically squirt it onto your fingers and I usually do it at night and I'll explain that in one second why but um, you just basically put it over where you're kind of getting the breakouts um, you don't need a very thick layer because this is why I do it at night it almost feels like you've just had a facelift I don't know what a facelift feels like because I'm still lucky enough not to need one but you put it on and within seconds your face is like <laughs> It just feels like you can't even move. It's really crazy, it almost just dries. And I don't know what it does, it must be like um, getting into all the pores and kind of uh, drying them out or something. I don't know how it does it. Um, but all it aim aims to do is reduce that redness, reduce your blemishes and your breakouts. Um, and yeah, it does that apparently by feeling like your face has been glued. Um, but it's not a horrible feeling, it's just you, you can't even smile. You're sitting there and you're like, yeah, like I'm this morning, yeah. and it's really awkward. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I've noticed a massive difference. Um, just in the annoying spots that kind of come up or blemishes, it's really reduced those. And then to go along with the spot treatment, um, I also tried this. Now this is Clinique, it's the spot treatment gel. Now my mum actually told me about this one and she was like, oh my gosh, you have to try this, it is amazing. Um, I'll show you what it is, it's basically got like a little pointer on the end and um, I don't know, <laughs> A, a pointer, you know what I mean. And all you do is, um, whenever you need it, say morning or night time, before or after you put your makeup on, uh, no, before you put your makeup on or after you've taken it off, don't put it on afterwards because it might look a bit silly. Um, all you do is just go to those, you know those really annoying spots that just hang around, they're not going anywhere. I've had one there and one's popped up here and they're not gonna go anywhere for a long time. Well, they are now, thanks to Clinique. So um, I used this for, a, for the first time a few days ago and absolutely loved it. Already this one has gone, which I couldn't get rid of for months. It was like every day I'd wake up and you'd be like, hi, I'm back, like I'm still here. And it really annoys me because you're just like, get off my face, get away from me. So this is now my best friend. I love this. All you do is just pop a little bit on and then you can either leave it overnight or leave it on during the day underneath your makeup. And it is so lovely. It doesn't almost, it kind of creates like a film over the top of the spot. So it's not like 
like anything is going to peel off on your face when you try and put makeup on. I usually just use this at night to be honest, but I guess you could use it during the day as well. This is the uh, Nivea In Shower Body Moisturiser and I've seen it advertised on TV. I was really excited about it because obviously I tan and uh, it can sometimes dry out your, well it does dry out your skin so it's really important to obviously exfoliate and moisturise. Well I do it a lot obviously when I go to the gym and I have a shower and obviously when I'm at home and showering. It's really annoying if you're in a hurry and you just can't be bothered to moisturise. It's I know it sounds silly but it's like an effort just to slap it all on, you know then you've got to wait for it to dry before you can finally get changed and you just want to run out the door and just go. So this stuff sounded incredible. Now if any of you guys haven't heard of it, um, what it claims to do is while you're in the shower, it's just like a shower gel and so what you do is just use, it says on the back, you just need to use your normal shower gel, so whatever you'd normally wash with um, first or cream or whatever and then still while you're in the shower you then take this. Now I've got the dry skin one um, but there's also normal skin as well. Now I've tried it and when I was in the shower obviously I was quite skeptical tried it, put it all over me and it felt like a bit of a cream. Um, it just felt like a moisturiser. It's, it's really silly but it almost puts like a film on you and you can feel that it's got a moisturising sort of agent in there because it's not like a normal shower gel where it just washes off and you, you can't feel it anymore sort of thing. Um, it does definitely stay on your skin. So like I say, I was sceptical, but I used it, came out the shower and oh my gosh, I felt so soft. I didn't actually need to moisturise. So this stuff for me is a lifesaver. It sounds really ridiculous, but I've, I'm in love with it. But I hope you guys really enjoyed my video. Unlike the sunshine here, who just seems to have disappeared. I think I've annoyed him by shouting at him. Um, but unlike here, I hope you guys are having an amazing summer, an amazing sunny, sunny day, having lots of ice cream and chilling out outside. And I will see you in a couple of days time in my next video. Thank you for watching guys. And always remember, of course, to like and subscribe to my channel and I shall see you soon. Bye.